What's going on guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. It's going to be episode number three. Last time we left off, we um, started building on our house. Got pretty much the outside of it done. And then we also got into the caves in the beginning of the video. We got enough diamonds to make a chest plate, plate and some uh, helmet. So we only need, what, like 7 plus 4, so 11 diamonds to make a full set of diamond armor. And we'll be looking pretty freaking good at that point. But this episode, we're going to be focused on finishing the house. Getting um, <clears throat> everything moved into that, so we have a little structure, and then probably doing more mining and, and cave exploring um, to get enough diamonds to get a full set of diamond armor. Then we can start trying to look into going into maybe the nether, or perhaps um, something else. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, guys, let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, here we are, the humble abode. Not very, very large, but hey man, it's not the size that matters. You know what I mean? Anyway, do we have doors? No, I don't want really, to. I don't really like the way birch doors look. So we're gonna use spruce planks to make the doors. Like that, we'll do little freaking barrel doors, I guess. They look like freaking barrels. There we go. How to make three? So they always have freaking an extra. Get out of here. Gonna move everything inside. Even if we don't have a roof, we can still, we'll still be protected from mobs, except for zombies, because zombies can obviously break down the freaking doors. Place both beds down. right there have that you be careful freaking clicking the logs that bothers me It's not symmetrical. It's almost dark. It's almost spooky hour. Go to sleep before the mob starts spawning. There we go. soon I only have three iron block or iron ingots I wish I had three iron blocks that'd be nice all right now we gotta figure out what the roof is gonna it's gonna be a triangle roof um so I guess somewhat of a triangle like, like, like a barn shape a cobblestone, maybe. We'll need to get more stone. We're not even that far from our cave. There's our cave right here. Let's 
you get like a oh you have like a good way of getting down here it doesn't involve taking fall damage Two hunger bars right there, wasted. And that freaking baby zombie is aggroed from freaking far as fuck away. Two of them. Mine this cobblestone out. Um, we'll see how that, that's good enough for now. Got a little coal over right there, too. It's a freaking skeleton, like right next to me. It was. Fuck it, we're just gonna build like a stair with a little makeshift stair here. <clears throat> there we go. That way we're not freaking constantly having to dig up. Put this trash. We're gonna have to figure out what the face is gonna the face of the house is gonna be. The face right there. I guess it'd be um birch. Yeah, really underestimated how much cobblestone this would take. Completely. Let me turn the notifications off, bro, uh, before I record. Very, very, very professional. Very professional. It'll take 12 for each layer, so probably need like another 48 stairs. Oh my god! I did it again. I need to just like look up in the sky every time I eat. Let's go back down here and mine some more cobblestone. Yay! Oh my god. One skeleton's bad enough, but two fucking skeletons? No, thank you. Let's go over here. This cave goes pretty freaking deep. Alright, we'll mine right here. There's a creeper blocking my fucking path. 
Well, we got almost two stacks of freaking. Why oh, it's turning dark? I'm gonna see if I can bypass this guy. Excuse me. Not realize how long I was mining for. We made it back safely. There's a Cooper right off outside our freaking doorstep. Oh my god, I keep doing that. He's right there. Maybe it'll kill itself on the freaking buried bushes. Probably be smart if I made the steps before I did that. Alright, this should be enough stairs. Yep, I need to get more freaking birch planks. We're almost. We're almost done. Almost. Well, I make it. Well, I mean, that might just be good right there. I'm gonna see how it looks with the roof just like pointed, like a triangle, or if I should just like flatten it off at the top. I really don't know. Let's do whatever feels right, I guess. We're gonna go over here and get some more birch wood. Alright, this should be plenty of freaking birch wood. So this should be all we need is we have a few stacks. The main thing I'm concerned about in this playthrough, honestly, is fucking the nether man. We can get we can get very unlucky and just not find a fortress or get lost. And have to find our way home. A lot of things can go wrong in the nether man, so I'm Afraid. I'm afraid that my fr uh, that we're gonna die there. I'll be the where the run lizard dies. I'm actually gonna put these stairs out one more. Jut them out one more. Like so. Give the um gives the house a little bit more of a more depth. This tree is gonna have to go. No one right there because making those leaves is making these leaves stay too close to the freaking tree trunk. I'll probably clear out all these trees right here so I get a better view in the back of my house. This is kind of like. There is no view because the tree blocks it. Fuck! Still have enough freaking stairs. Oh. Well. Let's go get some more cobblestone and make some freaking iron pickaxes. I need 
need like every bit of iron I find, I just need to, to grab because we're like, this will use up the rest of our cobblestone or freaking what the fuck. This will use up the rest of our iron. I just saw. So off we go to get more cobblestone. We're gonna have cobblestone, I think, now for the stairs we need. Come on, back there. I'm gonna have to get some torches and light this area up. Shit, it's already nighttime. Fuck. Nice one. Getting real clear, careless with the freaking day and night cycles, bro. We set torches in here too, so mobs will spawn. And around mob area, so mobs don't get close to the house. Okay, so now we're gonna make hopefully the last bit of stairs we need to make here. Or a stack. There we go. House is complete. That looks fine. Fine for a little starter house, I guess. Now, next on the agenda is looking for, well, we gotta make a floor first. What's the floor gonna be made of? What about spruce? I guess we're punching the dirt out. go house is complete i don't know if i'm gonna well i'm not gonna make it a second floor well i might actually i'm not gonna have like stairs going up and just put ladders like a hole right here and just ladder up what should the ceiling be made of then i guess i'll make it out of spruce too but i need more spruce wood to do that that's so much freaking dirt. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. I need like a stack. The, the birch tree finally grew up. And we need freaking we need to clear out these trees back here anyway, so. Freaking axe about to break. And we don't have any iron to replace it. We're good anyway. Should be all we need. I 
need to make sure I light up this area up here. If I don't, hello mobs are going to spawn. Well, they might not. Well, they will at night, but they won't during the day because the, the ladder or the stairs. Um, stairs will bring in sunlight. Make ladders with just sticks, right? It's like what, like yeah. A window right here. Get glass. To make glass, you need sand. Get sand. Well, there's plenty of sand. We need a freaking shovel, and for that, we need freaking iron. No freaking iron. I guess this could be a storage room or something. We're gonna put my beds up here and make this the bedroom. It should probably make more sense to put the window on the front. Then like I think I might make this a bedroom. I don't know, it could be kind of annoying to go all up here up here every time I wanna freaking take take a nap. We always bring beds with us. I mean, it's not like we're going to get the, the only real the problem in survival with bringing beds with you is that you, you, you set your spawn point every time you sleep. Obviously, that's not a problem here because we're not going to be respawning. If we die, we just freaking die. The only benefit of a bed is in, in hardcore is to freaking, you know, start the next day. Have any sand? Yeah, I didn't think, didn't think we would. All this trash can go in the chest. We need to get some buckets and some milk. That was night, but we're probably gonna spend we're gonna spend the night in the caves trying to get iron and diamonds. A big, a full set of diamond armor will be huge. Then there will be nothing stopping us from going into the nether. Actually, I already know there's nothing up here. I don't know why I went up here. We'll grab that coal though. Unless we enchant, which we could spend time trying to enchant shit before we go to the nether. Just to get, increase our survival chance. That'd actually be pretty, pretty smart. It, granted, it would take quite a bit more time to do it that way. It beats, it beats us going in there and just dying. Just going the whole series away because we didn't prepare properly. Because the nether is not a freaking joke. I'd rather fight, go ahead and fight the freaking ender dragon than go to the fucking nether. That is terrifying. Especially with the weather skeletons and just overall amounts of skeletons, which is like, in my opinion, skeletons are the hardest enemy in the game to deal with. They do not freaking miss. So, speaking of which. Yeah, all right, I have to freaking retreat. Luckily, the skeleton hit a fucking zombie. Oh, 
alert. Oh my god, three creepers. Tommy bad. I mean, creepers overall ain't bad. It's just if they sneak up on you and blow up right next to you. You're fucked. Keep doing it. Keep freaking doing it. Be careful with Enderman. Enderman fuck you up. Like the highest damage dealing mob in the game. Don't worry about that freaking. Don't worry about the creeper man. Oh fuck! I guess I'm not on that goal. I'm not sure if that was the creeper or the enderman. I know there's one more creeper somewhere. It was a despawn, which I don't trust that shit. There to assume that the creeper's still alive and assume that it's not. I think this is going into the same cave I was just in. Yep, I can literally see a torch down there, so. There's no point going that way, down that way. Let's go around, mine all the iron that's around the walls, which I really don't care that much about iron. We'll find iron in easier ways than that. Creepers and spiders. Definitely not worried about spiders, they're the easiest mobs in the game. Back. I don't know why my guy didn't do the size the freaking swipe. I freaking killed if I did the swipe. Should be all the creepers. Enderman can stay because I'd rather not fight it and they do a lot of damage anyway. We don't need pearls yet. Plus, we're not even gonna get, we're not gonna kill him for pearls. We're gonna freaking do piglin trades for pearls. Which is why I need to mine all the gold I find. Alright, we're out of torches. Should bring a bed with me with all, for all. At all times. 
Let's have an extra bed. We did get a lot of coal. Coal is always useful. Right, let's go a little deeper. We still have freaking daylight or freaking nighttime to burn through. So, what's going on over here? I'll definitely take that. Creepers. Damn. My screen shake so violently when I fell. A cave to explore here. A lot of clay too, so if we would make a brick brick structure, we could. We have all this clay. We we, we stopped at like a good. This is a good cave, man. Like actually, a great cave. Creeper and some copper. Anyway. Sun's up. Let's get on out of here. From that mining trip, we got a stack and a half of coal, which puts our furnaces at a stack each. Got 14 pieces of iron, which definitely is nice, some cobblestone, among other things. So, we're running out of berries, but we can easily get some from the freaking taiga. I would rather get some. Better things to eat than, than that. We'll probably move our beds up there and this will just be like a little work area. But um, anyway, go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this didn't run it very long over the time. I like to keep these videos around like 35 minutes-ish. So hopefully this didn't run too long. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.